Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a hard drill beat using stock plugins in FL Studio. A lot of people have been messaging me to say that they can't afford to buy big plugins and they feel like that's holding them back. I can't lie, I use third party plugins all the time, but you can still make fire beats with stock plugins, which I'm going to show you in this video. And whichever beat I make today, I'm going to include the FLP in my new drum kit, the Prick Kit Volume 3, which is hopefully going to be out at the end of the month. It might be a couple days after, but I'll keep everyone posted. So yo, I'll keep this one short and I'll get straight into it. All right, so I'm going to be using stock plugins for instruments and effects. I'm not even going to be using any third party free plugins, so you don't have to worry about downloading anything. Let's just go through some instruments, see what we can find. And I don't want to bore you with the same drill piano, so let's see what we've got in here. Maybe something plucked. Yeah, we could use this. Let's just start with a chord. Could even just repeat this. And then change the last two. Yeah, there we go. Let's copy that. And I'll just keep this one real simple. So I've just got this basic chord progression, not much is changing. And right, let's layer that with something else. So there's one plugin called GMS. It's got some sick pads in it. Actually, let's make this a little bit darker. I'm gonna put half time on, but we can use gross beats in as though we're going to stop plugins. So go to momentary and then half speed. Uh, I'm gonna have to bring these back though. So I can just chop these in half and then bring the next one back. It's just to get it sounding a little bit darker. Copy that again, so control and B. Let me get a bit of a side chain on. So with side chain on, it's basically dipping the volume real quick at this point and in the middle. Just to give it a bit of a different effect. And I'm gonna render this out, just Alt and R. Now go back to layering it with something, let's try GMS. This one's kind of cold. They both just need EQ in a bit though. So what I want to do is give each one its own space. So I'm basically filtering each one out. I could do it like a band pass. All right, I'm going to go straight onto the 808. I'll use one from a new kit. I like this fat and wide one. I haven't named all these properly, by the way. I still need to rename everything in the pack. Let's just turn the volume down of the higher ones just because high notes are easier to hear anyway. All these kicks are mad punchy. Let's try this one. basic snare pattern. So quick counter snare bounce. I'm just gonna copy that over. All right, let's get some perks in there. Something like this. And 
this one. Maybe just a bit further on. Yeah, it fits better there. All right, let's put a Vox in as well. Just have that fade out and maybe a bit of reverb too. I'm just gonna choose the Cathedral preset, bring down the wet a bit. Separate it. Actually, I'm gonna make that pan. So go to control pan in and let's just separate these left to right. But because they're playing at the same time instead of a perk, I'm just gonna bring them across. Maybe throw this in too. Save it for over here. And yo, if you don't have many effects, if you don't have many one shots, then have a look in flex. Look, I'm gonna show you now. So look, just go to tags at the bottom, go to sound effects and make sure you're on all. And look, you've got all these sound effects right here. So look, you could add something like a telephone or maybe around about here. And just do the fade out effect. I don't really need that in this beat though. But look, you've got sirens too. I might actually put these sirens in, but I'm just gonna filter them out. I'm gonna adjust the panning from here. It's already panned to the right there, but if I go on channel panning, so now what I can do is start from the right or left and drag it all the way down. Let's see how this sounds. So listen to headphones. And you can just cut this off the end. If you wanted to, you could increase the reverb mix. But you don't need to add another reverb. You can just do things within the plugin. Maybe turn it down. So let's see what else I got. Like a car crash. It could just you could just use that as a normal crash. That could be like a transition. So this could fit as well. I don't think I need it in this beat, but it would fit. I didn't want to go overboard with the effects. So I just wanted to show you the ones that you can use. I like the sound of this solo box as well. See if this could fit in anywhere. That sounds hard, but pushed into the background. I'll record it in a couple times and then decide where it fits best. So real simple, I'll probably just find one or two places to add that in when I start arranging it. Yeah, about there. But let me hear it about the siren. Yeah, so not in like every eight bars, but just every now and again when I arrange it, that will sound sick. All right, I think I've got everything I need now so I can start arranging it. I'm just going to split this pattern by channel. All right, I want some filter in the beginning. Otherwise, it's going to get kind of repetitive. All right, I'm going to go with this preset form of vowels. And maybe turn it up a little bit. I've made this clip unique anyway. I can maybe have it dip out around about here. And for the drop, we're gonna use Grove Speed again. And I want two different settings. So I'm gonna create an automation clip in this section here. So in the first section, I want this one. So I'm just gonna copy the value and then paste it here. And then change it in this bit here to something a bit faster. So we've got that first bit, then a bit faster. But I need a riser in there as well. I've added a lot of these reverse risers. I've still got a couple more to add. Something like this, maybe a bit further on. All right, so now that I've got this drop, I'm gonna take out the count snare, maybe until about here, take out this kick too. I think that box needs to come down.
swapping between the siren and the box. But you know what? I might arrange this one a little bit different. I'm gonna have the pad coming here, and it's just building up. Take out the sirens. Here again. And then rather than having a full hook, I might just create a little bridge similar to this. So it's gonna be quite fast paced this track. I think I could bring now nah, this perk. Yeah, I could bring this one in. Maybe the snares too. Yeah, there we go. And then everything back in. Maybe a little break in the hi-hats here. Or the count snares. In fact, I liked it with them too. Sirens can come down a bit too. Let me take out the perk there. I think the only thing I've got playing too much is this perk repeat. So maybe take out here. Take out every other one. And then for the ending. Or the outro. Could maybe just have this repeating again. It's not a normal structure for a beat. There's no like set hook. So we're reaching about three minutes, which is normal. And then literally just fade this ending out. I like to fade out with fruity balance. One last thing that I want to do though is switch up the eight weight pattern. So it's not the same one every time. Just mainly towards the end. So from here. So yeah, that's the beat pretty much finished. And that's just a different way to arrange it as well. You don't always have to go 16 bar verse and then eight bar hook. You can switch it up a little. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you're feeling the beat. If you were feeling the beat, then I'm going to be including the FLP in my new drum kit, the Prick Kit Volume 3, which I'm aiming to release at the end of the month. It might be a couple days after, but there's going to be around 250 sounds, probably more than that, MIDI files as well, and maybe a couple project files, including this one. If you're part of my mailing list, then keep a lookout for my emails because I might be dropping the kit a few days early just for the people that have bought a kit in the the past. But yo, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.